Okay, so sun shining. Tomorrow's game day. We're going to be pouring. So I'm just running around today, doing all the final little checks and bits and pieces. Just putting in some little set, step downs there for the shower recesses in the bathrooms. Double checked all the steel just to make sure it was all completely tied off and chaired up in all the spots that we needed to. Uh, braced up that construction joint. A few other bits and pieces, another little recess down there. And now the final thing that I'm doing, you can see over here, I'm actually setting up for some rebates. Basically any external sliding door that's going out, I'm going to put a, a recess down in the concrete so that the sliding door sits down and you've got a clean finish with that threshold. You don't have to step up over it. I'll show you a bit of a close up of that once it's installed. But then that's it. We are ready to pour. So watch your space. Tomorrow you're going to see a lot of concrete go in. Exciting times. go game day concrete is all turned up the pump set up over there and we've got our concrete truck on the way exciting times There you go, the guys are just finishing it off now. Put the whirly bird over the top just to give it a nice finish. They'll probably go over that another one or two times before they finish up. But that's actually come up really good. A few little bows in some of the formwork. I probably should have put some braces a little bit closer. But the good thing is because I'm cutting and pitching the frames myself, I can hang them over a little bit and play around with that. But other than that, really happy with how it's come up. Boys doing a great job. All right, so there you go guys, slabs in. Very excited with that. End up putting 97 cubic meters into that slab just then. Plus what we did with the footings prior, we probably had about 120 cubes all up. So a lot of concrete, it's definitely not gonna go anywhere. Very well engineered, but that's what we want. It's our place, we want it to last for a long time. So what we're gonna do next is flood it with water, let it cure for the next week or so. Just keep that water on top to try and prevent any cracking. And then after that, we're gonna move on to our framing stages. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you're new, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to check out things in real time, look at our Instagram or our Facebook page where you'll see the house being built on a day-to-day -day sort of basis. These videos take a little bit longer to edit and get up here, you know, usually a few months after the fact. But anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Catch you later.